Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up a live synchronous Zoom online class in such a way that you can have student assistants working with you as co-hosts or alternative hosts. So the way we're going to do that is, um, first of all, um, if you've seen my prior video on how to set up in Zoom for a live synchronous online class, you can use the same technique to set up for live synchronous lab class. So once you have that set up, and you have the meeting already created in Zoom, you need to go to your Zoom control center at csuchico.zoom.us where you have your profile. Next thing you need to do is to click on meetings. Once you are in meetings, select the recurring meeting that corresponds to your lab. So this is what I have right here. So let's click on it. You go towards the bottom to edit the meeting. And I'm gonna edit it. I will edit it for all occurrences of that meeting. And as you can see, I have the name explicit as to who is running the meeting. These are my two lab assistants with some description of how this is going to work. We have the schedule for the lab that it is recurring with an end date. Um, I have the settings just like in a lecture where the video goes on for both the host and the participant. I also have the mute participants upon entry, enable waiting room and record to the cloud. The main part to get your lab assistants have a co-host or alternative hosts role is this alternative hosts box. This is where you put the email addresses of your lab assistant or assistants um, so that they can have co-host role in your meeting. The important thing is these students need to have activated their Zoom account through csuchico.zoom.us. Once they've done that, they will be in the directory and you can add their email addresses in this box and then click save. That's really all you have to do. The other thing that I would like to uh, point out as a recommendation is under settings. If you click in meeting advanced, the first entry is for a breakout room. I intend to have a breakout room in my lab sessions, one for each of my lab assistants. That way um, they can talk concurrently or we can all three talk concurrently with particular students we're working with without interrupting each other. And so we just, um, uh, I will probably control moving students to the breakout rooms and they can because they're co-hosts. So they can begin talking to um, students and assisting them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so that's really all you need to do. Um, I hope this is helpful. Thank you.